womb bank. I still need to be guided by a woman. So regardless, it's like, I don't feel like four y'all know the story, like learn the story first. Like, the, the head and a womb neck. I still need to be guided by a woman. So regardless, it's like, I don't feel like four y'all know the story, like learn the story first, learn the factual parts of the story first, and then come at me and be like, yo, you need to fix this and fix that if that's what you feel like I did. But instead I'm being torn down for a narrative that's like, now I'm the poster boy for, I don't like black women. But anyways, let's get into this. I wanna get into this because it's very important for me to just say this, I'm not here to bash this woman. I'm not here to come down on this woman. I'm not here to disrespect her or throw her under the bus, but it comes to a certain standpoint where I just can't let my character be assassinated for things that are not even really true, like, and, and for falsified narratives and information. Let's start this off. When the original, original uh, a report came out, and it was a TMZ report about this, that, and the third, and there was gunshots in Kylie Jenner's house and Tory Lanez goes to jail. They gave y'all all the facts of the juice of Tory Lanez going to jail and this, that, and the third and Megan getting arrested and da, 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 da. Two days after that, I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're gonna make a statement about what happened and it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. So I'm like, oh, okay. I don't understand what the issue of me telling my fans like, yo, look, it's not that serious of a deal. I went to jail for whatever this is like. I don't get, I didn't get for that two days why that was an is, uh, or issue. Two days later, TMZ report. I think the reason why Rock Nation <clears throat> didn't really want you to say anything because you're under Rock Nation, right? You are an investment to them. So that's what I'm assuming. Is he, is he signed to Rock Nation? I think he is. But otherwise that, you know, they wouldn't have never called you. So I'm, I'm assuming that you are signed to Rock Nation. I don't, I don't, forgive me, I might be wrong. So correct me on that. But if you are signed to Rock Nation or, or Megan might be representing Rock Nation and she's signed to them, either one, I don't know. But anyways, let me, let me look at that. I, I believe Troy is signed to Rock Nation, but let me make sure I got my facts right before I go ahead and continue because that. No, she signed with 300 Entertainment, so maybe they're all co-founded by Rock Nation. But anyways, maybe Rock Nation was looking out for them, but they're both not under those record labels. So, you know, <clears throat> but I think the reason why they probably did call them is because they're trying to protect them. That's a way of looking out for them. But I, I, I get it when it comes down to proving yourself in a court of law. See. When you're under investigation and you got a trial, it's best not to really talk about your trial and wait till you get to court. Then you can plead your case. But I guess in his mindset, Troy was feeling like, all right, well, you know what? I ain't got nothing to hide. So, you know what? Fuck it. Let me talk to my fans. I get you. And I get it. We live in a different age of universe where people are looking at what we do on the Internet all the time. You know what I'm saying? They are paying attention to everything that we do, <clears throat> excuse me, on the internet. So that stuff is, uh, you know, it, it could help it in, in his case to a sense because the juries are looking. I mean, listen, man, Troy Lane's kind of know what he's doing in a way because we live in a different age and era where everybody's like glued on the internet like that's the new wave that i mean it was not the new wave but it's been out for many many years but social media is taking over a lot and even probably cable tv and networks because nobody's it's going to get to a point where nobody's going to be watching cable anymore everybody's glued on to social media on the internet because that's like the new thing now well it's been out for quite some time but let's just face it social media is more entertaining you actually get a lot of truth being on the internet than actually watching mainstream media. And I've been saying that for the longest time. That's why people watch YouTube videos, because people get more of a truth and aspect of things than the actual mainstream media that's on TV or what people have to put out there. But let's just continue with Troy Lanes and get back to his story. Um, Listen. My personal opinion, well, let's just play, fuck it. Report come out, TMZ reports, and have the surveillance now. Now they see the video of the arrest, you see Megan, you see me, 
and you see it's all sprawled out on the ground in, in bathing suits and and blah 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 and everything i'm saying is is public record you can go back and look at this shit you can go back and and see it like you feel me so they say oh, okay you know um the the you see her out of the car she's getting out of the car she's hopping it looks bad bro and i'm not gonna lie like i felt bad watching it because it made her look bad and it didn't make her look good it didn't make any of us look good and i didn't want that for her i don't see that for anybody so all of a sudden when we get arrested or when it looks like we all got arrested the memes start now i want to really bring you guys in for a second so you can understand something and i really just want you to take this in like she is a person i spent enough time with her to observe and understand something about her where it's like she's going through a lot she goes through a lot she deals with a lot on her day-to-day -day basis and because of that she's not used to you know and not even just because of that but just because of the fact that she's been praised so much we've always looked at her as like yo that's our, that's hip-hop sweetheart like she's she's nice she's talented whatever the case is cool and because of that like we've 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 never seen a moment where the memes have come at her where the memes are like, yo, nigga, let's laugh at your pain. Ah, ha, 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 ha. She's never had to deal with that. I mean, <clears throat> why would people laugh at her getting shot in the leg, though? I mean, listen, Troy, I know women can lie. Hey, would oh. you like to make 10,000? No, I ain't trying to make shit. <clears throat> listen. I know women can make up shit sometimes and they over exaggerate and stretch out stories to make you look bad if they want to. But I'm going to tell you this right now. And this is my honest opinion, man. It's hard to cover something like this, man. You 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 did it, man. You just got to face that music. You know? I don't know what type of confrontation that you guys had before the incident happened. Because I know women can really know how to get under people's skin. And I'll be trying to tell men this all the time. I don't know if it's just me, man. I mean, while this commercial is going through, man. Were these two in a relationship, man, for some reason? Because why would two two people be hanging out like that a lot? You know what I'm saying? Megan Thee Stallion and, um, and Troy. Were they in a relationship? I, didn't, I don't know if they were in a relationship or not, but, I mean, were they in a relationship? I mean, if anybody... I think, from what I was told, they were. So, I'm not surprised, man. I'm not surprised that this was some sort of crazy relationship. Kind of remind me of a Rihanna and Chris Brown type deal. Hold on, we back on now. Yeah, it kind of remind me of a Rihanna, Chris Brown type deal type shit. So, but, anyways, I could be wrong. But, hold on, let me, let me get back into this. My fault. <clears throat> whatever the case is cool and because of that like we've 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 never seen a moment where the memes have come at her where the memes are like yo nigga let's laugh at your pain ah, ha, ha, ha. but why would somebody laugh at their pain though why would why would you laugh at somebody getting shot in the leg or the foot i'm just saying though, there ain't, ain't really nothing funny about that shit but at the same time i could understand if the roles were reversed and it was a man. Let's just say if Troy Lane got shot in his foot, niggas would have been laughing at him. They would have been laughing at him. Because you got to understand that in this universe that we live in, Troy Lane's. And this ain't me disrespecting you, young man, because I know you're a young dude. Younger than me, but, you know, me and you kind of look like we the same age. <laughs> but all reality is this. When it comes down to society, even if you're watching or not, and, and a lot of men can watch this too, a lot of men want to watch this, but when it comes down to society, right, it's always going to paint the picture that it's not funny if these things happen to a woman, but it's funny as hell if it happens to a man, especially if he's a black man and he gets shot in the leg or a foot, for instance. He got shot in the foot. They go laugh. Like, how the fuck you get shot in the foot, nigga? They'll laugh. But, into some instance, though, that's not 100% entirely correct because motherfuckers was laughing at this shit, what happened to Megan Thee Stallion. Now, now that she's okay and she didn't die or anything like that, 
motherfuckers started to laugh. Let's just be real. Let's just be real, folks. Everybody on social media was laughing because they thought the shit was funny. Shit, hell, I thought it was funny. I'm like, how the fuck you get shot in the, f- in the foot? But God damn it, actually getting shot in the foot is nothing to laugh about. I think it's just the concept in the word when you hear Troy Lane shot Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. You're like, what? <coughs> some were upset and some were laughing about that. I don't think they were laughing about the fact that what you did was funny. I think about I think they're laughing at the fact that we can't believe that you did some shit like that and the title just sounds funny. There's a total difference. You know what I'm saying? People hit me up like crazy on Facebook. But let's keep on playing, man. You can't justify these actions, Troy. I mean, you did what you did. He's trying to cut cause see this, man. Troy got a lot to lose, man. Troy is he 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 let me tell you something, man. He's trying to revive himself, man. And and listen, he, he's scared. I'm gonna tell you this right now. And you know, I, I don't want to see his career get drowned like that. I mean, but it's just you made some mistakes, man. And you know, unfortunately in life, there's consequences and repercussions for everything we do. You know, you got to stay humble with your shit. I told men all the time, y'all got to stay humble. Y'all got to stay humble, man. Y'all got to stay real humble when it comes down to things. Because these are the consequences that happens with your repercussions. Uh -huh. She's never had to deal with that because she's always been praised. So everything that's been happening has been a reaction off of what's been going on. So it gets down to this point now where it's like, now the, 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 the reports are starting to say, okay, well, everyone's pointing to different things. No one really knows what's happened, but nobody has ever said she got shot. Nobody has ever said she got shot. Not TMZ, not the police report at this point. Nothing is saying that she got shot. Soon as she sees herself on video with the bikini and the things like that, and it looks bad, she then comes out and says, yo, the narrative of me getting cut by glass, it's just not true. She doesn't point at nobody or anybody or say anything or anything like that. She just says the narrative that... Why was... <coughs> excuse me. Why was it... Um. Why did she say she got cut by a glass? And she didn't come out and just say, I got shot in the leg. What was the reason for it? Because I'm going to tell you why. <coughs> and this is this my... Um, my assumptions of what I feel, what of what could be going on behind scenes. I think both record labels was just trying to come up with a story, so that way two people won't go down. Cause just think about it, <coughs> Megan Thee Stallion is a megastar. So is Troy Lanez. They're both worth multi millions. Both record labels will lose both. If they both fall. Because now. If Troy Lanez goes to jail. Let's just say hypothetically speaking. If he goes to jail for a long time. Troy Lanez fans. Is going to get mad at Megan Thee Stallion. And it's going to be a retaliation. At Megan Thee Stallion's fans. You get what I'm saying? <coughs> and if. Troy Lane don't go to jail. Megan Thee Stallion fans might still get mad at Troy Lanez for not serving Tom in jail. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to damage both of their reputations or, you know, or who they are regardless. The only way, <coughs> excuse me, damn, I smoke too much weed and shit. The only way shit can actually become... compromise is if both parties are able to make a public statement together and squash the beef that's it or squash any type of tensions so that way both fans will win at the end of the day because i think they both want to see them both win but troy lanes man what you did was kind of reckless though man i'm be real with you it was mad reckless man i'm i'm trying to root for you man but 
you can't justify the fact of what you did, man. It's, it's, I'm sorry, but, you know, what's done is done. You just gotta, you know, like the OGs were saying, man. The OGs on here, they were saying, right, is that you gotta take, you gotta cross your I's. No, dot your, I'm sorry, you gotta dot your I's and cross your T's. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, what's done is done. I mean, I don't know. Let's keep playing, man. Whatever came out of me being cut by glass is not true. I was shot in my feet with the intention to harm me and put uh, harm and danger upon me. Right? So, okay, cool. Like, all of a sudden, the affiliates of her circle start pointing like little subliminal fingers like count your days and like I won't be around and you shooting at feet and like little funny I things that they start doing and I'm kind of like damn hold on where are y'all about to take this because y'all told me not to make a statement so I'm under I'm trying to figure out where y'all where y'all taking me to I don't, I don't yeah that that's that's kind of foul though <clears throat> that Megan the Stallion's record label whatever his producer the her, her producer I think or the I don't know one of the one of them niggas in her camp right Went ahead and made a statement saying, count your days. I remember seeing that shit. And I was just like, well, wow. I mean, this is really making Troy look like a bad guy. And I get it from that perspective. They were trying to drown this dude. See, it got too far out of hand. The owner should have never, the, 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 whatever, the representative of the record label should have never did that. What they should have did behind scenes is they should have squashed their beef. See, this kind of reminds me of a Biggie Tupac situation. Now, I'm not talking about as in, you know, East Coast, West Coast beef. But I'm just saying from the record label and background perspective of things. See, both artists, Biggie and Tupac, died because of politics that was involved in the music industry. I'm being real with you. A lot of people don't want to hear the, that truth. But the truth of the matter is, it was all about politics politics in the music industry because the, the music industry run like a mafia man they run like a mafia people don't when i said this shit people thought i was lying they can execute they can put out a hit man hollywood be putting out hits on artists man <laughs> why you think six nine did what he did because he thought he was really really hollywood but he wasn't up there yet he ain't signed that oath I don't know if he did yet, but he ain't signed the oath yet. But I think he probably did now. Because, you know, it saved his ass from going to jail for a long, long time. But let's keep on playing. That's too deep for y'all. I don't get it. So then the uh, at, at this point, she goes, she goes live because people are not really understanding the story or whatever cases. She waits. She doesn't go on, you know, a time... When it's just a regular time. For y'all don't, who don't understand, it was one of those things where me and her knew what was going on, but y'all didn't know what was going on. She went live on my birthday. With all, and then she says, yo, you know, um, and the thing about the whole jury thing is, it's like, she, my bad. She knew that it wasn't a situation where. I hate when uh, this thing skipping. Like, she knew she had to do certain sympathetic things, I, I guess, to push the narrative. And I don't know who told her to do certain things like that. And I'm not the one who's trying to, like, ever point the finger at anybody but when it really comes down to it it's like you went on live on your birthday and then you said on my birthday and then you said i got shot in my foot and it didn't hit no bones or tendons so everybody's looking at this and again the internet is a sick place this is a place where people don't give a fuck about you they they do what they do they antagonize and they do what they do um you go in and you see you get shot in your foot no bones or tendons the internet goes into an uprage because some people are like hold on how do you not get shot how you get shot in your foot and it don't hit no bones or tendons? Like, whoever is watching this, like, if you need to go on Google and look at a foot anatomy of bones and skeletons and tendons, you realize there's like 30 bones in your feet and like 100 tendons, some crazy number like that, right? So, she now gets to this place where the people are like, hold on, and, and again, the internet is sick. The internet starts coming at her and saying, yo, show your feet. Because we're seeing you at DJ Khaled's house and you're on your tippy toes. And then we're seeing that you're, uh, you know, that you're, 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 you're here and here. And they're antagonizing her. They're, they're, they're brutally coming for her and not giving her, I guess, what it is that she needed. But. Hi, my name is Kendall. I am a. Listen, man. 
<clears throat> Sorry, Kendall, but I gotta talk about this shit, man. This is more important. <laughs> but listen, man. Let me try to let me try to move this over here, man. So I get this bigger. Should get your ass out of the way. All right. So listen, man. This is my honest truth about this whole ordeal, right? I'm starting to think that maybe it wasn't a good idea <clears throat> that Troy Lanes made a statement in regarding to the incident with Megan Thee Stallion on IG. Because just from listening to the dude, he's all choked up with emotions, right? And he's just trying to tell a situation that happened. But I understand what he's saying. But at the same time, it's like you're not getting you're not saying it in a way that all your words connect. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, you keep jumping and jumping from different topics when you talking and I, and I get it. You do that because you trying to get the truth out on your side. And I get it. Sometimes you get nervous and he was nervous. I could tell he was nervous. Talking about the shit. Because. Him talking right now. He's different from. The person that you see doing the. Uh, what's the, the Instagram shit that he does with his shows. I don't I don't know the name of it. But you know. But y'all know what I'm talking about man. I don't really keep up with that shit. That social media internet. You know social media shit as much. But. He got the Instagram turkin thing going on, right? And his energy is different. Now I was you could tell like he he's he's just not comfortable, man, and he feels he's being targeted and he probably is. But um Maybe it wasn't best for you not to say anything. Have your lawyer represent you. Sometimes it's best to kind of leave shit not said on the internet. Because most people, if they're under trial and they could be serving some time, they're not going to say anything. But I, I, I get what he means, man. I, I feel him on that. Sometimes you got to let your fans know the truth because you want to still walk freely and walk freely and not having to worry about being targeted, rather it's physical or mentally through social media. So I, I get it. I couldn't, I don't know how, <laughs> boy, I tell you, I couldn't be no celebrity. Just imagine if you were a celebrity and everybody up in your business all the time. Why well, I got a picture of this? Okay, never mind. Just imagine you were a celebrity and everybody up in your business all the time. I couldn't do it. I mean, I love the celebrity money, but <laughs> I couldn't be no celebrity, man. Fuck all that shit. But anyways, let's get back into this, man. This this commercial with this chick. I'm trying to get back. Uh, I think I could skip this shit. Let me want to skip this. Ah, damn, man. I'm listen, man. I know you gotta pay for your advertisements, man. But this should be hell of annoying, man. Y'all got too many, too many, too many, too many, too many commercials. Man. I gotta stop with these commercials. It's ridiculous. The people are like, hold on, and again, and then they sick. And then that starts coming at her and say, yo, show your feet. Because we're seeing you at DJ Khaled's house and you're on your tippy toes. And then we're seeing that you're, uh, you know, that you're, 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 you're here and here. And they're antagonizing her. They, they, they're brutally coming for her and not giving her, I guess, what it is that she needed. But it gets to this point where now um, she posts a picture of a foot. And she posts this picture of a foot. There's no exit wound. There's, 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 there's a lot of, of inconsistencies in the story. And she says under the post, you see, I got shot in the back of my foot because when I was walking away from the car, she says I was, she puts this in capital letters. She says, 
And I was walking away from the car and I got shot in the back of my foot. She doesn't ever show the other foot that she claims she got shot in. And I'm not trying to, again, I hate that this is coming off like I'm trying to come for her and whatever cases, but this is what I'm having to endure and watch when I'm knowing certain facts. So it gets to, um, you know, it gets to this place where I'm just like, bro, like this is not me and I, I don't deserve this. Like I don't to be, I don't deserve to have to go through this. Like I never have been somebody who's had domestic cases. I've never hit no woman. I've never had abusive cases with no woman. Could Troy Lane possibly be telling the truth? But there's a lot of explanations that need to be made. Why was there a gun in your car? Why was there a glove in the gun compartment? Why did you take out the gun? Did the gun go off when you took it off? Was it? Did it go off on accident when you had it in your hand? Because you were aiming down and then you were trying to struggle with the gun with Megan Thee Stallion. Were there a, really, was there a fight going on? Was there a little struggle and then the gun went off on accident? Maybe y'all were just horsing around. Maybe you said some stuff to threaten her, but you wasn't really going to shoot her. But you just pulled it out just to, you know, play little games. That's 10, 20 life. Automatically. See, all this stuff comes into accountability of a play, of, of what a possibility of what could happen. Because we all know relationships, man. Come on, black folks. We know how we are in relationships. If we on some hood shit. If we 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 trying to show our male dominance to a female. We gonna try to scare off a little bit and pull out your pistol. Like what the fuck? Some niggas do that. Believe it or not, all, all, they, all types of races of men could be on some alpha man, ogre, overly ego, egotistical, I should say, overly ego. Alpha male. You know those overly ego alpha males? I'm not talking about an alpha male where <clears throat> you can be passive and still have the persona of an alpha male. I'm talking about an alpha male that has to show that he's uh, George of the Jungle and shit, you know, pounding his chest. You know what I'm saying? You know those types, man. I got to do some reckless shit just to get attention. Just to do some dumb shit so everybody can be like, oh man, you gangster cuz, you gangster, you hard boy, you know what I'm saying, come on man, we know how we could be man, this shit is crazy, come on. You can't pull those type of facts up on me, I don't have those, so it's like, I just didn't understand why I'm going through this, so now it gets to this point where she posts this picture of her foot and everyone's seeing certain things and everyone's um you know saying certain things about um her foot and some people think it's real some people don't think it's real and it gets to this place where some people are just not believing so she posed the picture there's no could megan the stallion could be sabotaging troy lane's career and putting a fake picture of a foot that may not even be hers would y'all be surprised if I said things, you see, when I, if I talk about things like this, right, and have a different third mind perspective of things on how Hollywood would operate and how Hollywood is weird like that and they do weird shit like that to fuck with our minds visually, to have a visual, yeah, a visual mindset of what they want us to perceive. Who knows if this ain't a setup? Who knows if Megan Thee Stallion didn't show a fake... You don't even know if it was really her foot. Do y'all know if it was really her foot? I'm not saying that it is. But there's a possibility that it, it may not be her foot. And some people may be saying, Ah, Troy's just saying this shit because he doesn't want to go to jail. He don't want to be a man and, and own up to his shit. It could be that too. But then again, who knows if behind the scenes, they're not trying to take out Troy Lane. Just put... Connect the dots, man. Connect the motherfucking dots. At first, she said she didn't get shot. It was something else. Then all of a sudden, they came out saying he got, she got shot and all this other stuff. And it's not like Troy Lane said anything. Yeah, not, not that I'm aware of. 
to antagonize the situation for her to say, all right, fuck it, then I'm going to bury you. I'm going to say you shot me in the leg. This shit could happen, bro. Stuff like this could happen. People do lie. People do set each other up for failure. Men and women do the same shit to each other. Would I put past it that Megan Thee Stallion could be lying? No. And yeah. So that's up to y'all to make that decision on what you think. Y'all want to know what I think. I'm thinking anything is possible in this situation. Megan Thee Stallion could be lying about that foot picture. Megan Thee Stallion could be lying about even getting shot in the foot. And then we all go look like the dumbasses. See, this is why I say, man, this hip-hop shit and entertainment, man, it's just full of propaganda. They just out here just to fuck with our heads, man. Distract us from what's really going on in this world. Do we even know what's really going on in this world? Do you think the people that we even vote for or care for really care about us? Do you think the people that we look up to really care about us? Do you even believe in the story? Is this story fiction or nonfiction? Is this fabricated? Is he telling the actual truth? Or is he just trying to escape his reality of what the consequences that could happen to him or not? See, I don't know at this time. He could be getting set up to by his record label telling him don't say nothing. And maybe he had to say something. Because if he didn't say anything, it would make him look guilty, right? Let's just face it. If Troy Lanes wasn't saying nothing, it was just ignoring the whole situation. Guess what would happen? The pressure would be on to him. So I guess he had to be a representation of himself to let his fans know and people know, hey, it, was, it didn't go down like that. That's it. Nobody wants to represent me, but it didn't go down like that. Here's the honest truth. Instead of trying to like trying to figure out what they're doing on the other side, you're kind of on to it. Because at this point, Megan is not trying to negotiate with you because of the people that's surrounding her. You got to understand, she belongs to a certain label. And these labels are paying her multi-millions of dollars. At the end of the day, when it comes down to money, there is no love in this business. So even if y'all were together, she don't give a fuck about you. And you need to come into reality that her money and her paper is what's important. I don't understand these simp niggas, man. With these strippers. I dated a stripper before. And Megan Thee Stallion was a stripper too. Listen. All these strippers is hustlers. Just like you. But the hustlers always get played by other hustlers who are women. And I never fucking understand that shit. I'm not a hustler like y'all. I don't hustle. I do my shit the righteous and, and, and right way, man. I get it through a, I, I go through a spiritual force that makes me hustle to better myself, but I don't hustle people. See, these entertainers, they used to hustling people. Strippers, what they do, they hustle people. That's why I had to let a stripper bitch go when I was dating her. They hustle people. These people are no different. These entertainers are no different from hustling each other. And I try to tell people that. This is all a game. Troy Lanez is being fucked with too. But you got to understand. That those people are protecting Megan Thee Stallion. Those people are her record labels. Labels. They're paying and they're getting paid from Megan Thee Stallion to be relevant. They're looking at you like you kind of mediocre in a way. But uh, Megan Thee Stallion is more of a high dollar value. Because eventually she could be the, the next bad bitch who's, who they would quote her as being the bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Not saying whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying. But anyways, should we put out there to possibly be the next Cardi B? You know how they had Little Kim, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, then Megan Thee Stallion. Like, every one of these hoes is being replaced every other three, two, three years. Have you noticed that with the music industry? It's always like, but the reason why I say hoes, 
hoes. Because they talk about the shit that's hoe shit. When you talk about hoe shit, if it look like a hoe, dressed like a hoe, god damn it, it's a hoe. That's my whole perspective of it. People could think differently, but let's keep on playing. Shit. No bullet train. Where, they, where are they taking out the bullets for the, for the, for the pan? Like, if this is what's going on. Like, where are they taking out the bullets for the pan? I don't understand. Like, where's the surgical? You're not in a surgical room. And anybody who knows, I mean, this is like, it clearly had to be the first day that you've taken this picture. So, if this is the first day that you've taken this picture, it's like, where's, the, where's, where's all the evidence? Where, why are you not in a surgical room? First of all, you're not even allowed to take pictures in a surgical procedure. That is a game. Ooh. Did Troy Lays just hit the jackpot? Holy shit. He's going to win this case. He he's going to win this shit. He's going to win this shit as crazy as it sounds. Troy Lays have won this shit just for what he says. In a, in a surgical procedure, you're not allowed to take personal pictures. You're not. So, Megan Thee Stallion, where did you get that picture from? God damn, this boy's smart. I didn't even think of that shit. Where's the bullet? Fa you know, because usually when you get the bullets, they use that little metal thing to, you know, to clip on, to, to, you know, to take it out, all that other shit. There's no metal plate. I don't know. But, uh, God damn, this, yo, Troy, I think you in the wrong profession. Shit, now I'm thinking you should be a lawyer. From, from what? This nigga need to be on CSI. God damn, boy, are you smart. I didn't even think of that shit. See, uh, listen, this, that, that defining moment, that, def we gotta rewind that shit back, boy. That defining moment on what, Troy Lanes has said is a proven fact that that shit is fake. I'm t hey man, y'all could believe me, and y'all could go against me. Y'all don't have to agree with me. Y'all, I'm saying y'all could disagree with me. Y'all could agree with me, but at this point, I don't give a fuck because I'm just speaking how I feel in the situation. Because hey, I'm entitled to that motherfucker, ain't I? Shit. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. That defining moment in Troy Lanes' life, I gotta re I gotta fucking read redo the title of this shit. Y'all go see a different title. Let's just post up. But damn. That shit, wow. I didn't I didn't even think of that. That was really smart of him. Where why are you not in a surgical room? First of all, you're not even allowed to take pictures in a surgical procedure. In a surgical procedure. You're not, you, you can't take personal pictures. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Troy Lays is a smart mother effer, man. Holy shit. I didn't even think of that shit. You can't take personal pictures in a surgical procedure room. You can't. It's against the law. That is against the law. It doesn't matter if you're famous or not. Mm. So it gets to this point now where it's like, you know, um, she says I was shot from behind and, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the third, and I was walking away. And she puts that and then she deletes the post after. But that contradicts with the first post because you said somebody came out to hit you with malicious harm and danger to put you in harm and all this danger and all this stuff. How can you identify who's shooting at you if you're facing the other way? How can you I, I even identify? Y'all need to listen to Troy Lanes right now, man. Hold on. Y'all not listening to Troy Lanes right now. Man, I, I can't talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Y'all not listening to Troy Lanes right now. See, Troy Lanes is speaking on some facts and giving you exactly what happened on the scene. But I don't think a lot of people really want to pay attention. <laughs> somebody said you. <laughs> somebody wrote that. You tripping over a dude, homie. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, the internet has no filter. That's what I love about this shit sometimes. I can't stand the shit. 
but it could be it could be entertaining as shit. The internet. I don't like it, but I mean social media. I should say just not not just the internet, but social media. God damn. Identify criminal or malicious intent if you're not seeing what's going on behind you. It doesn't even make sense. And so it's like I'm looking at this and I'm just like, yo, this 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 is not right. Like, and I I I. I I do see when people are getting at her and there's times when I'm like, damn, like, do I help her or do I say, speak up and say, yo, don't talk about her, whatever the case is, or, but if I do that, then it's like, I'm coming off like I'm guilty. And then if I say something about, uh, having remorse, like I would like to, or saying something about certain things, it's like, I come off like I'm guilty of something that I didn't do. So I had to be quiet on certain places. Now I need y'all to really take this in and, and understand like how this works at this point. Mm. When all this starts happening, LA times. Okay, this is a this is this is put this is put in public information. LA Times puts out an article and in the article they say um, you know, this is the initial uh, report. Two sources close to the investigation say that she had she got cut by glass and she said that she got cut by glass. Two sources from her record label as he was Claim. That's what he wants to say. Two sources. He don't want to say record label, but fuck it. I'm gonna say record label. Two sources. It ain't her best friends and shit like that. It's all it's record label shit. This this is see a lot of y'all need to understand how the industry goes, man. They run like the mafia. Two sources from the record label told her what she needed to say and what she needed to do. They were switching up the stories. And this is what Troy is saying. And some crazy galactic twisted world out there. I believe this guy. <laughs> as crazy as it is, I'm starting to believe him now. You see how I could kind of change around depending on how the, the 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 explanation of what he's saying, because not explanation, but like the statement of what he's given, I should say, because it, it it's it's making me kind of analyze. In, into details of what he's saying because at first it didn't really make much sense but then when he went into this whole surgical procedure topic it actually made sense because you can't personally take pictures inside a surgical procedure room that's against the law because that's public records so you can't put out public records like that see now she could be sued see that's some stuff they're gonna look into because that doesn't make any sense so maybe somebody on Megan's team is trying to take down Troy Lanes on some fake accusations. I just sum this motherfucking case all up, man. This shit's gonna be a mess. But let's continue. So then it's like people see that. Okay, hold on. She's saying they're saying on the initial police report. Shit, I should be a lawyer. God damn it. Not just him. With Officer Santiago, whatever his name is, you can go look this up. This is on LA Times. That's when it gets to this point where it says, okay. Yo, um, um, there. God we damn it, Sprizzy, through. God damn it, I hate these these stupid commercials, but bear with me, folks. We go skip through this, man. We go get through this. I know these commercials are a pain in the ass. That's when it gets to this point where it says, "Okay, yo, um, um, there's they reported no gunfire wound in her foot." They just reported a woman with a foot injury. So, so you got to understand, like, this is what's in their initial police report. Fuck all the Instagram. Fuck the other shit. This is just what's in the police report. See, and Troy Lanes is, could be absolutely correct on this. It says she got injured in the foot. But where did the whole gun and stuff like that come from? Somebody from their camp made up some shit. To, to to make sure you, you go down. But they're going to do their investigation, man. The laws are put in place to protect people. Hopefully justice will be served. But I'm, for some crazy reason, man, and I feel it, man, I, I think that they could be sabotaging Troy Lanez. Because you can't take a personal picture of your leg inside of uh, a surgical procedure room. That is against the law. Because only doctors 
That's class. That's called classified personal information. Some shit like that. You can't release those to public records, man. You get. It's just like if somebody, like for instance, right? Any celebrity that that let's just say a, a celebrity ends up dying, right, and passes away, or anybody of any sense, people, to that matter, you're not allowed to put out personal records like that but people still get a hold of it but you're not allowed to because it's against the law if you do that it's called uh is it, is it perjury or some shit i don't know i don't know if it's perjury. it's some sort of law that protects people from the invasion of privacy it's a, not invasion of privacy but it, it, it protects people from their privacy when it comes down to health uh records and medical records and Shit like that. But that's wild right there. So you got to understand, like, I'm getting to a point where I'm like, wow, that's I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, like at the end of the day, like maybe some people might see this. Maybe some people might not. It gets to academics. It gets to um, it gets to um, it gets to um, academics. It gets to Hollywood Unlocked. It gets to certain certain places. Right. Media she comes outlets. out with this tweet that says. Keep talking, and I'm going to stop sparing you. It's like, my love, I have not been on the internet for three months. I have not been on the internet for three months. And then 30 minutes later, she just goes on live. And it's like, it's like me telling you, yo, keep talking, my nigga, and I'm going to slap you. And then I just slap you. It's like, you didn't do anything for me to slap you. I just slapped you. So it's like, who was talking to? Who are you saying to keep talking? To? I don't understand. Yeah, you see what it is is she's being controlled, man. Megan's being controlled and being told what to do from other people that have strings on her. You know what I'm saying? Megan the Stallion is being controlled and being told what to do from people in the background. And they're trying to bury you. This all makes fucking sense now. It really does. Y'all did date from what I was told. That's your ex-girl. I wouldn't put it past the people that's around her to try to bring you down. Because those people, man, you got to understand, people who are supporting her, there's people that will fucking end up killing somebody for her and making sure she's all right. She got hitters and got shooters and all that other shit. Just like you do, just like anybody else does in, in Hollywood. They got, they got people that could take people out. Trust me, they'll do it. People think I'm bullshitting no online. Shit. <laughs> just read. Hey, it's right in front of us. We just fail to acknowledge what's in front of us. Whatever. It gets past this point. It gets past this point. And it gets to a place where now. She says, I'm going to stop sparing you, whatever case she gets on live. Now, because it... I just want to add this real quick, because I'm, I'm going to keep on playing. I know y'all probably tired of me talking and shit. But listen, I'm, I'm just going to add this real quick. He is right that somebody could say something and say, hey, if you say something else, I'm going to smack the shit out of you, but then smacks the shit out of you anyways, and you didn't say nothing. <laughs> Yo, people do that all the time. When they get mad, it makes no sense. But a lot of black people do shit like that. Like, if you keep talking about my name, I'm going to go ahead and air you out. But you're not saying nothing about her. And she still does it anyways because she's being controlled by people that's above her. Talking, I don't understand. Whatever. It gets past this point. It gets past this point. And it gets to a place where now she says, I'm going to stop sparing you, whatever case she gets on live. Now, because it got on academics that there was no gunfire wound on the initial report, everyone starts going to her page. Again, she starts reacting to certain things. Now, I'm going to say one thing. I'm not getting mad at her or whatever it is because I understand that she is dealing with a lot. Like, when it comes down to you got to understand, she lost both of her parents, and I do sympathize with that. I lost my mother, and when I, when I lost my mother, I realized one thing. When you lose a parent, 
you could be highly susceptible to people around you mm -hmm. that are that are giving you parental guidance or things that feel like parental guidance to believe in that it is parental guidance and you go he's absolutely right and this is what i said before and this is sad right now is that she's being controlled and i start to see this and w women could be easily controlled especially a man could be easily controlled too but men kind of know about this stuff when men get more older and more logical but even through life-changing experiences you're going to become very logical to things megan the stallion lost a parent and when you lose a parent i haven't lost my parents yet i still got my parents i'm sure there's some viewers who still got their parents some probably don't even have their parents some probably have one or two when you do that you could be easily influenced to be manipulated and taken advantage of by people around you that's why it's best you know it's it's a very cold world out here man it, it's very cold out here and you, you it's, it's really hard to really trust anybody out here you know what i'm saying because your best friends your people around you will mislead you will take you for granted will want to take control over you it's a it's a very emotional crazy experience when you don't have your guardians aka your parents because your guardians are the ones that's supposed to lead you through the path to christ but also through the path of righteousness and humbleness if you're a man if you're a woman mothers and fathers are supposed to lead you through the path of nurturing understanding and acceptance how many women do we know that don't accept a lot of people in their lives because they've been emotionally damaged think about it this is about relationships because these two were in a relationship It makes you kind of think, huh? Go with it. That's happened to me. I've, I've been at that place where I've listened to a lot of people that led me down the wrong road because it felt like parental guidance that I should have been getting from my mother or my father that at that time wasn't around or whatever the case is. So so now it gets to this point now, whatever the case is, boom, she, 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 she comes out and she goes, listen, you guys and you know all this extra shit, this nigga keep talking about me. And I'm in the back. I'm, I'm over here watching this, like, yo, what did I say? I didn't say nothing. I said nothing to you, but it's nothing. D this nigga keep talking about me, bro. And so, you know what? Now we just gonna do it. This nigga, Tori, shot me, bro. This nigga shot me. He shot me. She gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it. This nigga shot me. She starts breaking down the story. And I want y'all to pay close attention to how she breaks down the story, okay? Really pay close attention. She breaks down the story and she says, Yo, I'm arguing. I'm in the car. I'm arguing with this nigga. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. We get into a heated argument. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. I get out the car. This nigga get out the car, out the car, and he starts shooting me. For no reason, he starts shooting me. So boom, then the cops pull us over and da 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 da. Hold on. Let's take, let's take the first. Oh, my God. I was really getting into that until this goddamn commercial came on. Mm. Those of y'all who are new to the show, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description below. Shout out to my followers, my new followers out there, by the way. Um, I've been having some people hit me up on some chem shit, right? I'm talk about chem in a minute. They want me to do the video on chem. Now listen. This video that I'm going to put out is not your regular diss and be on some funny shit with him. Now, I was contemplating if I should or if I shouldn't, but this it's not really a diss about, about this interesting character, but it's about getting into the mind of Javier Romo. Like, I've done the whole funny shit in the past, and that's not really getting through to this kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to actually just paint a picture and show people 
why he is the way he is. Why does he target black men, in particularly black African American men, on YouTube continuously? And sometimes it doesn't even have to be regarding the travel, but it becomes very redundant. Redundant, I should say. <laughs> and it's just a repetitive cycle. But I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna focus too much on it, man. I know the reason why he does what he does, but we're gonna break down next video. But anyways, let's keep on playing this, man, because I'm really interested in this uh, Troy Lane shit. Don't this motherfucker look like he got an earring in the background? <laughs> I know. All right, stop with the jokes. Let's get serious now. For no reason, he starts shooting me. So boom, then the cops pull us over and da da da. da. Hold on, let's take let's take the first facts back for what she just said. So you mean to tell me that you're in a car with a person and this person is arguing with you. This person has gotten you to a place of like, yo, I don't even want to be around you. Like, I'm above this. I'm out of here. You get out of the car because the heated argument is so heated. And then this person gets out and shoots you in both of your feet. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. A lot of people don't want to really believe this story, though. But because they're looking at Troy Lanez as, oh, he's a gangster. He, he talks about all this shit in his records of what he would do. And he kind of seems like the hothead type of nigga that would do some shit like that. Because he talks about what he does in his songs. But you got to understand, though, is that it's not easy to do dumb shit anymore. Because black men, in particularly, are suffering the ultimate consequences. All right? So, in this case, it matters. I'm swinging towards believing him. As crazy as it sounds. But I, I I believe some shit went down between them. But I don't think. Well, man, I don't know, man. I think it's deeper than that. But I just I just don't know. They got to explain more about this gun situation. And them finding a gun inside the glove compartment. What they're saying. Or unless that was just a setup plan too. To try to take him down. And this person is arguing with you. This person has gotten you to a place of like, yo, I don't even want to be around you. Like, I'm above this. I'm out of here. You get out of the car because the heated argument is so heated. And then this person gets out and... Megan the Te Stallion kind of seems like the type of bitch that want to fight a nigga. That want to get up in a nigga's face and shit. And most niggas don't want to deal with that, that type of energy from women. Like, the energy that y'all y'all come... I don't understand with a lot of y'all females too sometimes, man. Some of y'all want to act like men. Y'all want to be in competition like men. Y'all want to dress and have tattoos all over your neck and shit like men. I mean, come on, man. Whatever happened to just having a butterfly tattoo on your back or a dragon on your back? Bitches ain't in that shit now. They want to be on some love. Uh, we, 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 uh, we from cell block, block 68. Can you imagine how these old, how these bitches are going to look like when they get old, man? With own tattoos all over their skin. Ugh. Just imagine when they become 70 and 80 years old and shit. That shit is crazy, man. Come on, man. See, one tattoo. Like, dudes with tattoos are a little different, man. It's a little different. I mean, hey, I wouldn't go all out with the shit. You know, go with one. But, <laughs> It is what it is, hey. Everybody's got their prerogative, but let's play. He shoots you in both of your feet, and you jump back in the car? Why, why would you jump back in the car with a dangerous man who just did a dangerous crime to you, who did this criminal intent to you, and all this... All this... Yeah, that kind of don't make any sense to me either. Why would you jump back in the car, bitch? Why would you jump back in the car with a man who already shot you, who do some dangerous things to you? Like, I don't know. That kind of stuff kind of brings up in in, in, in questioning because, but then again, how she go hop though, my nigga? She got shot. Where's she supposed to go? Maybe she's trying to protect you like they were saying and they made up some story. This shit is all a mess, boy. Why? Why are you, why would you jump back in the car? Well, yo, then the police pull us over. And I see, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm, we're, we're all black in the car, there's a gun in the car, so 
I don't even want to, I don't even want to be like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to get in more trouble and I'm trying to protect this man. I'm trying to protect this man because at the end of the day, it's niggas getting shot out here. She then throws the black card at me. I'm trying to protect this black man. Mm. My love, nobody ever reported that you got shot but you. So why are you, how were you trying to protect me? At what point were you trying to protect me? Yeah. At what point? Like, you know I got a child. You know that these type of situations, even an accusation, yeah. is something that I can't even be playing with. I don't even play with my life like that. So why would that, like, I, yeah. that, to me, just doesn't make sense. Okay, cool. I, I, I believe this dude. Now, let me tell you something, man. Certain things that he say just make me throw it throws me off, man. Because I'm just thinking. I'm in the process of thinking, right? So I don't want, <laughs> I don't want people to think that. Oh, you you keep you keep going up and down on what you wh whose side you on, Megan or Troy's. I'm on nobody's side, motherfucker. So those y'all want to come in here and troll? I'm on nobody's side. I'm just trying to get the information so I can make sense out of this motherfucker. Okay, guy, guy. I'm just trying to make sense out of this shit. But I don't know, man. The way I feel right now, man, ah, uh, it's hard. But I'm gonna say this, man. I, I think, I think, I think Troy's telling the truth. Cause he never said anything about. You see, the whole thing, no snitching, no lying, no, no telling, no snitching, whatever. Don't snitch, right? Troy never said shit. It's Megan's camp that was talking shit about what happened. See, Megan opened her mouth because she's a typical female. And I know females that's going to come on here. They probably going to get in their feelings and get mad. But the truth is the truth. Y'all gossip all the time. Y'all love to talk to your best friends, your girlfriends, about who you and your man's issues. This is what women do all the time. You want to talk about how oh, this nigga did this, this nigga did that, da 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 But you were on some hood shit with this nigga. So shut your motherfucking mouth and let the shit ride. But no, she got to open up her friends. Oh, girl. They probably said, oh, what happened to your leg? What happened, girl? This nigga shot me in my leg. Even if it was true or not, man. Come on, man. This shit is crazy. But all right. Real, real talk here. It's just really hard, man. It's like, I want to believe this nigga. I do believe him. But then there's certain things he throws me off. And I'm entitled to believe that way. I'm entitled to have those beliefs, all right? I'm entitled to have those beliefs. I'm a little bit confused right now. I got to hear a little bit more. But certain things that he says does bring up a suspicion about Megan. I mean, me personally, I mean, I wouldn't be going out with Megan the Stallion. I wouldn't go out with no bitch by the name of Stallion. Jesus Christ. What a stripper name. Megan the Stallion. Boy, her body shaped like a horse. <laughs> with that hair of hers. <laughs> Anyways, just keep playing. Good God. All this. Wh why? Why are you? Why would you jump back in the car? Well, yo, then the police pull yeah, us over. Yeah, why would you jump back in the car and I got see, shot in the foot? We're all black in the car. There's a gun in the car. So I don't even want to, I don't even want to be like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to get in more trouble. And I'm trying to protect this man. I'm trying to protect this man because at the end of the day, it's niggas getting shot out here. She then throws the black card at me. I'm trying to protect this black man. Mm. My love, nobody ever reported that you got shot but you. So yeah. why are you, how are you trying to protect me? At what point were you trying to protect me? Yeah. At what point? Like, you, you know I got a child, you know that these type of situations, even an accusation, is something that I can't even be playing with. I don't even play with my life like that. She made it worse. She should have just not have said shit. She made it worse. So why would that, like, I, that, to me, just doesn't make sense. Okay, cool. Yo, I lied to the cops. I lied to the doctors. Let me tell you why they saying there's glass in my feet, though. Because I lied to the cops. I lied to the doctors. I lied to this, that, and the third. Ladies and gentlemen, I need us to really understand. So what she go get saying, away man. with it. You mean to tell me that these medical doctors that are in a ambulance that work on on-site injuries 24/7 for for all day to have to know every type of on-site injury, the specifications on the type of on-site injuries, so they can so they can treat it right. You mean to tell me you lied to these people and they just treated you for glass when you had a bullet in you? If that's what you're saying, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say they were dumb. She had glass in her. She didn't have no bullet in her. Mm -mm -mm. 
You mean to tell me that the cops who were called for a gunshot in a Suburban or whatever the car was <coughs> found that same Suburban and found a gun in it, see you leaking and didn't check you for bullet wounds, right? I'll give you the benefit of doubt and say they were dumb. You then further said, yo, damn, I'm at a cotton mouth like a motherfucker smoking. <laughs> this dude's talking some real shit. You then say, you then say, oh, well, I was trying to protect this black man. So I never said nothing. I was, I didn't want them to shoot me. I didn't want them to kill me. What? Okay. But when me and Kelsey and Quan were over there being questioned, you were in a stretcher. No one is going to shoot you in a stretcher. You had plenty of time to tell the cops that you were in danger. You had plenty of time. I'm not protecting somebody who just heinously shot me after a conversation that right. we just had. I'm not, my mind is not on protecting you. I'm bleeding from my feet. I'm thinking about protecting my own life and I'm in danger. Why would you not say that with two feet bleeding from two bullet holes? What, that's, what that, that's true. That's true. I, I don't understand that. Hi, I'm here at CE. Yo, I would have loved to see them. Somebody put down, <laughs> somebody put down Megan wants to join your video live. That shit is fucking hilarious. Ah, this motherfucker, man. That shit is hilarious, man. But a lot of the shit he's talking about makes sense, man. A lot of the shit he's talking about makes sense. I mean, you just put two and two together. You know, if you get shot in your leg, you ain't going to try to protect nobody who shot you in the leg. But then again, women are emotional like that. Maybe she just love you that much that she wants shit to happen to you. I don't know. <laughs> There's no explanation to what women do, man. I don't know, man. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but I really don't care, man. I've learned to just not give a fuck, man. This shit... It just, I don't know, man. You, you just got to find your way through this world. That's how it is, man. But women go do what they got to do anyways. There's no explanation to their shit. And then there's this whole narrative of, you know, like, <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to put this black man on a, on, on, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get him in trouble. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm protecting this man and he keeps talking. And so now, you know, he keeps getting his, his media team to start doing certain things to make me look incredible and to smear me. And to make him look good and to make it look like I'm not hold on ladies and gentlemen have I been around in the last three months saying anything have you seen in the last three months one article that made me look good during this one have you seen it you haven't seen it nowhere because at the end of the day my PR team is not out here playing with my jeopardy of my life and freedom Wow y'all are doing this for the internet this is my life I'm the only person with the case I believe him. I believe him at this point. I think certain things he was saying was a little little bit of fabrication, but there was a lot of truth to a lot of things he was saying too. And a lot of things came into good question on why she would do this and do that. That's just my honest perspective of it. This is Drew talking. Now, as far as uh at this point, it, it's it seems very believable. Cause it is his life. His, his life is on the line. Like, this dude it could be... That's it. Troy Lane does these football numbers. It's, it's, it's over for him. He's, he's done. He's done. And this man's life is on the line. And he's, he's not trying to go down like that. And you know how the system is to black men. <laughs> uh, but he might be okay because of who he is. But just imagine if he was a regular person like me and you. Consequences wouldn't be so good. So at the end of the day, when you sit here, y'all, 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 like I'm not gonna jeopardize my son, even if I know, regardless of what I know, it will come to light, and the, the truth will come to light. And the whole issue with that, I have no issue with that. But I need y'all to understand, like I'm a human being, bro. Like this shit hurts, bro. I believe him, dog. And let me tell you something, man. Megan the Stallion's got an evil team that's that's really controlling her. I, I, I listen, man. This this this. At the end of the day, they're trying to protect their investment. That's it. Because if Megan goes to jail, they go lose multi millions of dollars. She's supposed to be the next Cardi B up in line. You're supposed to be the next. 
I guess Drake because he's from Canada too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to be, but you know, he makes some good fire music though, Troy Lanez. But he, I think he needs to focus more on his career instead of outside bullshit and partying up and shit. And listen, I know you came from nothing to something, and you could party it up and have a good time. But you got to listen. It comes to a point in your life where you, you, these kids, I wish they were. They had. This is why they don't got no father figures. What happened to people in the industry, right? Who are just like Troy Lanes, who have a lot of money, who's been in the industry for a while. Where are your bow wows? Where are your bow? Because the bow wows and the and the little Romeos were the past generation. Now, if they had a person like Little Romeo was going to go ahead and talk to this man before he got himself in the situation. Because, listen, they're the they're they're the older generation of their they're they're those they're the starting run up of their generation, the Bow Wows and the Little Romeos. So these dudes are supposed to be looking up to Bow Wows and Little Romeos who are rap artists, man, even though they make different type of music. They've been in the game for longer. They can learn from people like that. That's kind of like in their same peer group, but they're older. You know, Bow Wow's like, like around my age and shit. <laughs> so was Romeo. Like we, we were, I guess we were little Romeo. We were all around the same age and shit. But this is the thing, man. Um, If he would have had some sort of mental guidance, guidance, right? Like just mental guidance from people in the industry. He would have been all right. See, Pop Smokes before he died, he was getting that influential leadership. And that was coming from people like 50 Cent that was talking to him. He was taking notes. He was learning from where the OGs are, how they came up and all this other stuff. And. You know, so on and so on from other people from the West Coast, from down south. He started to learn how they network, how they operate. And he was about to make that big money. Pop Smokes was about to be huge. Until he got us. I don't want to say murder. I say assassinated. Because that's what they did. But anyways, we're not going to go dwell on that, man. We're going to stick on to the topic of Troy Lane's, man. Seeing my friends, people that I had on quarantine radio, be people that were just like, quarantine like, radio. like, 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 my real, like, at least people I thought were my friends. Like, that, that's what it was. It was quarantine radio. That's what he was doing. I was on I Instagram that I was trying to get before. My friends, people that I had on quarantine radio, be people that were just like, 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 my real, like, at least people I thought were my friends. Like, people I thought were like cool people. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, everybody just shunned me. I showed everybody love at the top of the year. Everybody was on quarantine radio. He he ha ha ha. And the second y'all have an accusation, not even evidence, niggas just come bash me. I'm somebody who just I don't get a say. Then I understand. Sometimes the way I move is unconventional. Now he's starting to learn. There ain't no friends in this music industry. All the people that surround you. And listen, man, y'all artists don't have to listen to me because I'm a nobody. Because I don't make money like that. But it's just, as a human being, and I'm talking to you, Troy Lanes, if you're watching, like as a human being, to so another human being, I may have not been, I'm not going through your situation in your world, but in my world, I deal with the same consequences with people. You can't trust nobody. People are always out to put you down in any type of way and want to make sure you, you stay in a certain level. In your case, it's probably the same thing too. People around you that you think they are your friends, but they're really not your friends. They're just out to benefit what you can provide for them. I guarantee you, he got a lot of people who want to provide for them. He got yes men. Like a lot of people in this world, we got some yes men too. But in his particular case, he got money. So they're looking at him as a cash cow. Look what happened with 6 9 6 9 thought he had a whole bunch of bloods up with his friends. Then they end up smashing his girl, taking his money, taking his shit behind his back. Now look what's happened to Troy Lanes. See, I believe these men. As crazy and goofy as they can be and shit. And they're funny as hell. They're entertaining. But at the same time, there's some truth to them. 
they're being sabotaged. They're being, uh, what's the word? Uh, shit, there's a word for it, man. I can't even think of it right now. Um, no, I can't say being of it. I should say people are using and the powers to be of pulling strings and using deformation of character at this moment of trying to make him look like he's this type of individual when he's not. People use deformation of character on me all the time. Yeah. Look at the idiots that's on YouTube. I try to come after me, man. The ones that are sad with their lives, you know, really sad with their lives and attack other people for, for stuff that doesn't even revolt or doesn't even include in your world, but just continuously attack a group of people that are just doing things that don't concern him. And this person just continuously attacks. We know those type of people out there. These are people who went to school and got bullied and they go on the internet and they use YouTube as a platform to make themselves feel good about themselves. And now you guys know who I'm talking about, okay? My little arch little nemesis, Mr. Kimberly123, that continuously attacks everybody else on YouTube and have these fake ass accounts. And he recently has one with a fake video. Yeah, I just like laugh at shit because it's like the shit that's out there on this fake video I already put out there for people to see anyways. <laughs> so it's no exposure on my part or, you know, being done to me. But anyways, I just think this shit is hilarious. It's funny to me. But, you know, <clears throat> if that makes him bust a nut at night, then hey, have fun with it, Kim. You know, and I, I came to a place where I was dealing with so much. Uh, just talk and heat and just people coming at me that I made music because I was like this is how I can speak through what I gotta do this is how I can we get so mad about artists making songs about the same thing money chains and cars so when a nigga comes out and says his true passion puts his true heart his emotions his the, the pain that he's dealing with with his baby mother his, his child when a nigga goes and does that and pours his emotion into the tape or oh, what he wrong yeah I'm wrong, Sucks. I get shunned off. They took me off of every single playlist. Yeah. They took me off of every playlist. They didn't want my story to come out. They're trying to destroy him now. See, this is what they do, and this is what the higher masses do to destroy you and your credibility. They'll take your music off the shelves. They'll stop your endorsements. They'll stop your music from being played on the radio. And the same thing has happened with 6 9 Look at 6 9 now. You don't even hear nothing from him, man. He's being all quiet and humble now. All of a sudden, he's getting older now. You notice that growing out a beard now he's just like he's really humble now because he knows it's the end same thing with troy this is what they do if you do not abide by their rules this is what they will do they may not kill you but what they're gonna do is they're going to stop you and destroy you troy lanes okay Maybe you should have taken heed and lessened what the record labels were telling you because you are controlled. You've signed that oath to be a part of the industry. Some people don't want to believe it. Some people do want to believe it. And some people think it's just a fantasy world. No, no, no. You on your conspiracy shit, Andrew. I don't want to hear this. No, no, don't tell. This is the truth hurts, man. Your favorite rapper, 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 man. They all belong to a certain cult. Rather sinister, I don't know. But I tell you what, it ain't good energy. And I wouldn't be around it. This is Holly Weird. <laughs> Y'all wake up. They didn't allow my story to come out. Because it, it came off insensitive. I don't want to speak on this. Ooh. I don't ever want anybody nice. to ever think that I've been insensitive to Breonna Taylor. I marched nine days straight in Miami for her and George Floyd. I would never, bro, I've mourned this woman as well. And everyone said, listen, we're mourning a black woman today. And you dropped an album? How dare the disrespect? Guys, let's bring this back. That day that I dropped that album, my mom, that was her birthday. And that was also the day she died. So. Okay. I'm going to wait till this commercial goes on. So he said, that's his mom. And that was the day of his birthday, and that was the day that his mom died, right? Or something like that. When my wife fell. We're going to get into that, but. 
my wife felt that I, well, what the hell's all this shit? I don't want to hear about this motherfucking crazy ass shit. I'd be showing some crazy shit on these ads, boy. It make you kind of think like, what? Why you even post that shit? Anyways, um, let me just remind a little bit. All right, let's go. In Miami for her and George Floyd. I would never, bro, I've mourned this woman as well. And everyone said, listen, we're mourning a black woman today. And you dropped an album? Yeah. How dare the disrespect? Guys, let's bring this back. That day that I dropped that album, my mom, that was her birthday. And that was also the day she died. Wow. So. So, damn. So her mom's birthday. Well, his mom's birthday. Was the same day she died on her birthday. So he wanted to drop an album on his mom's birthday. But see, I don't listen to Troy Lanez. I don't know the shit he be talking about. I don't know if it's really on some real shoot 'em up bang bang gangster shit. I don't think so. I just think he's like a like ain't he like a singer type. I don't li listen, forgive me, bro. I don't listen to these motherfuckers like that. Be honest with you. I really don't. I mean, if it's eh, if it comes around, if it just so happens to be on and I'm vibing on, on some like like some uh uh XM radio type shit. Then yeah, I'll listen. I'll fuck with it. But you ain't gonna see me like, oh, let me go ahead and download this Troy Lane song. Oh, I gotta get these songs. Nah, I don't care about that shit. I'm just old school like that. But you know, everybody's living. But I just want to know, like, man, I want to know what type of music he was putting out. He must have been putting out something like that's gonna. You know, people can relate to like struggle and shit like that. I'm thinking, because if he dropped it on the day that his mom died, and his mom's birthday was on the same day that she died, I could understand that symbolically. I was also mourning a black woman, yeah. my mother. His mom. That meant a lot to me. My name is Daystar. I'm her youngest son. That meant a lot to me. Yeah. And I all I was doing was giving a truthful album about what I'm going through, and I thought that. And you know what? When it comes down to your mother, man, a black man. A black man that has his mom, you ain't gonna lie about your mom, man. That's one thing. You ain't gonna lie on your mom's name. That's how I know he's telling the truth. You ain't gonna lie on your mom's name. Unless your mom was like really horrible type shit. But even though, you still wouldn't lie on your mom's name. Rather if it's negative or positive. Because I remember how I talked about earlier in this video that your parents are your guardians. Guardian angels. Guardians. They're there to protect you. They're there to make sure that you, for the most part, I mean, don't get me wrong, some lousy ones out there too, but that that's through the courses of the universe, man. That's nothing to do with them not loving you because a parent could be out of another parent's life or out of your life because of your one of your parents and they don't get along with them. So your, how the half parent goes away, it doesn't have nothing to do with you. But sometimes you could be manipulated to thinking that your daddy ain't shit. When really and truly your daddy had problems with your mama. But that's stuff that they don't want to talk about. They paint this picture of these black men who are single black men have these problems. And then it goes up and down, up and down like the chart goes, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it makes you think to yourself, bro. Like, you know, what can you do? that people were going to be able to hear it and feel me but they didn't do that and i don't expect you know everyone to just jump into my side because at the end of the day all right so oh let me see is there some more of this shit anyways on that being said right i'm gonna go ahead and end this video this conclusion what the hell I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second here. All right. Well, anyways, man, on that being said, I'm going to end this podcast show by saying this, man. <sighs> Relationships and dating. I'm just going to end it off by saying this, man. Both men and women, you got to do better selections in the people that you date. Y'all both come from a single parent household y'all both have some problems but two people with both psychological problems you know two people with problems you know it's it's not a good look 
And I understand where Troy is coming from, man. That's why I could see why these two would hook up together. Because they're emotionally torn apart. And they can understand each other. They both make same music. But, hey, you know. It is what it is. Uh, despite my... Uh, my views, I guess, on a, on a, on a physical note or physical attract I don't want to use that word very freely I say like this is just physically you know just looking at her and listen I know I like to joke around and goof around and shit but man she too strong for me boy <laughs> she too strong for me I, I can't do it I don't like me a strong woman I don't like a strong woman. You can't handle a strong black woman. You can't handle the Jew boy. You can't handle them. Listen, man. I've been told that I can't handle a strong black woman. I say, you know what? You're damn right I can't. You absolutely right. You too strong for me. I had this one black woman say, you can't handle me. I'm too strong for you. I said, you know what? You're right. You absolutely right. Because <laughs> if you're too strong for me I don't want to deal with you I question about you Because I don't want no chick bigger than me You know I'm just saying It's been well you know what Rumor has it I'm just going to leave that as it is Because I'm not the type of person To want to spread bullshit I like to joke around But at the same time I, I, I speak a lot of truth and I expose a lot of things. But I'm going to say it like this though. On a serious note. That's my joke inside. But let's get serious. Megan Thee Stallion is being controlled by other people. In her camp. She's being controlled. She's not speaking for herself anymore. People are speaking for her. And Troy Lanes. Now they're attacking him. He's not going to go to jail. But eventually he might end up going to jail. Because they want to put him in a position where he will be in jail. So now, what they're doing right now is they're assassinating his character. They're cutting his music off of billboards now. Now they're not playing his music on radio so that way he doesn't get any type of royalties. You got to understand, celebrities survive off of money off of royalties. But once they stop cutting your music, once they stop playing your music, you won't get no royalty checks. So people be laughing at a person like Ja Rule and say, oh, this nigga broke the, the, the. Listen, them old... School artists that you don't see anymore. That don't mean they're broke. They're getting money other ways. They're investing into other things. And Troy Lanes, my suggestion to you right now, while they're trying to destroy your name, I'll be trying to protect my money. I would move my money into a foreign bank right the fuck now. Because now, don't be surprised if they won't put a freeze on your account to where you can't spend your money. Because IRS is going to come after you. You need to start selling your house. You need to start selling all the things. Because now it's like his 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 lifeline. His life is in jeopardy. His life is in jeopardy. And you know, guess what? If he ends up living on the streets. You know what's going to happen. He's going to have to go back to the streets. He's going to be broke. and get. How is he going to face his community? man? How is he going to face the hood? They ain't gonna kill him, man. Come on, man. Jealousy's a motherfucker out here. But I really feel that Troy Lanes is is they're using defamation to character, man. They're trying to assassinate his character, man. Cause a lot of the stuff don't make no sense. Cause even with the, with the surgical room, with the whole uh, using the biography for picture of the surgical room. First of all, you can't do shit like that, cause that is illegal. Where she get that from? That's fake. He gonna be all right, but once he's able to prove his innocence, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Is Megan gonna try to take it to the streets? Now you trying to assassinate her character? Now these people are gonna try to do what they gotta do to take care of you. The only way this shit's gonna be resolved is both camps gotta get together and just like, yo, listen, man, let's just try to make this money. I ain't trying to fuck my career up. You ain't trying to fuck yours. Let's just do what we gotta do. Let's just put it underneath the rug. Cause at the end of the day, we both could be fucked up in this shit if we try to go after each other. 
We don't want to assassinate either one. I don't want to be assassinated. You don't want to be assassinated. So let's just get this shit right. This is go on media. Drop the charges. You be on your way. I'll be on my way. Just continue to make music. Continue to uplift him. He'll continue to uplift each other. And then maybe, you know, his music will be back on billboards. You know what I'm saying? If they want to go down that way, which I think that's the right way to go down. But hey, you know, they're both black entrepreneurs. They're both in this business together. If they're willing to do that, but you got to understand, man, this is a dirty game. And unfortunately, there's consequences and repercussions. Anyways, guys, I'm your host, Andrew, 26101 Show. Those of y'all who are new to the show, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Um, link in the description below. God bless y'all, man. Y'all take care. Have a good one.